We are looking at LSAT Practice Test 80, Logic Game Section 3, Questions 12 through 18. There are four actors, F, G, H, and I. Each of these actors has two paintings, oil or watercolor. We are also told that there are four walls. Each wall has an upper position and a lower position. The rules are as follows. Rule 1. Two works by the same actor cannot be on the same wall. Rule 2. Every painting must appear exactly one time. Rule 3. Two watercolor paintings cannot be on the same wall. Rule 4. F and I cannot be on the same wall. Rule 5. G's watercolor is placed in the upper position of the wall where F's oil is placed. Rule 6. I's oil is placed in the lower position of wall 4. Now let's draw a diagram and make deductions. The first rule is fairly restrictive. Let's try to place two oil paintings on the same wall to see whether it would violate the first rule. For example, if we place another oil painting on wall 4, if we try to spread out the remaining oil paintings, we would still have one wall where there would be two watercolors. Therefore, each wall must have an oil painting and a watercolor. This means that in the upper position of wall 4, there must be a watercolor because there is already an oil painting in the lower position. Because F and I cannot be placed on wall 4, either G's watercolor or H's watercolor can be placed in the upper position of wall 4. However, we know that G's watercolor must always accompany F's oil painting. This leaves only H's watercolor to be placed in the upper position of wall 4. Thus, we know the complete positions of wall 4. Finally, let's draw three possible scenarios where G's watercolor and F's oil painting can be placed. In the first instance, the block can be placed on wall 1. In the second instance, the block can be placed on wall 2. In the third instance, the block can be placed on wall 3. Now you are ready to answer the questions.